So this channel is already pretty random, so I may as well show you this thing. This is a tool for cutting foam board and extruding profiles. This foam board is too wide to extrude profile, so I have to cut it first. And so I have my line cutting tool mounted already. Ok, so let's overview hardware first. So this is PC power supply, I am using 5 volt line. This is meter for showing current. And this is my variable resistor. I made this resistor using iron wire and piece of wooden rod. And the resistance is controlled by pushing in a piece of wire and partially shorting it. Now this thing is probably what's most interesting about all of this stuff. It is made of exacto knife and a wire that is supported by teflon washers on one end compressed together. And on the other end it's just soldered together. You can solder thin pieces of iron easily using lead free solder. Now this wire is quite special. It has been sold to me as a connecting rod for servos. Now what's special about it is that it's hardened. This is really important because it allows us to use smaller diameters without sacrificing its stiffness. Now I don't plan to use this thing very often, so I don't attach things permanently right now. So instead I'm using vice to hold it in place and aligning it just roughly. Then I will just put my board on top of this tool, just check the alignment and place some weight on top of the foam. By using this method the cutting speed is pretty much constant. However, very very slow. Near the end of the cut you have to take control over the cutting speed and stuff like that because it's... Yeah, you have to. And here's the second one. You can see that this process is absolutely not automatic. And this was not the aim. However, the resulting cut is very consistent, which is required for the next step. Having said that, now I am exchanging the cutting end. It is really important that the cutting wire is supported in both directions. Like for example this one isn't. I accidentally bent the wire so I have to support it by nut now. Now this footage is from future but it's really much better solution. Basically mount some steel plate on the front and solder the wire template on some PCB material. Now you can simply use magnets to hold it in place. And here you can see this in action. It has no chance to move anywhere, or else you are doing something wrong. Now let's get back to the original footage. Really the procedure is basically the same as when you are cutting the straight line. Only now you have to be exceptionally careful to align things perfectly. For example you can already see that I have a huge gap between the foam board and the tool itself. Well this piece will be scrapped anyway but... Speaking about scraps, let's talk about things that can go wrong. For example, this can happen when the piece is not properly supported and you move the weight from one place to another. This thing will happen when the foam board suddenly stop or slow down. This will melt a bunch of material and result in quite a deep trace. On the other hand, when you move too fast and this piece was fed by hand, this will result in inconsistent thickness and it's complete garbage. Now speaking about maintaining a constant speed, I use this thing to push the foam board against the edge. On the side I created two springy fingers using double sided tape, which I also used to decrease the friction on the tool itself. On the bottom I glued 120 grit sandpaper so it doesn't slide. In addition to this, all edges must be rounded and very smooth. So I put a piece of tape where they were not before. It would be much better if the tool itself was longer but it's not. So here I'm checking my feeds and speeds before I make the final cut. Ok, seems pretty good, so let's go! Ok, so far it was looking very good, I have to help it a little bit towards the end, but that's to be expected. Ok, and here's the very very end. Hmm, this tool definitely has to be at least a little bit longer. Anyway, so this was the largest defect that I found on this piece. That's pretty good. Apart from the end of course, but yeah, it's pretty good. Now I will check both edges for edge straightness which both seem pretty good. 
So yeah, 10 out of 10. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, you can go crazy with hand feeding. Isn't that cool? <laughs>